In this video, let us see some of the tips and tricks for linear dimensions in ARCHICAD. If you want to add a segment to your dimension chain, select the dimension chain, press and hold Ctrl, or Command key and then click a point, to add the segment. In this way, you can also split a segment into two. Select the dimensions, press and hold Ctrl, or Command key and then click a point to split a segment into two. If you want to delete a segment, press and hold Ctrl, or Command key and then click on the segment, to get it deleted. If you want to combine two segments, select a dimension chain, and then press and hold Command key, now click a point in the dimension chain to combine two segments. If you want to align your dimension line or a dimension chain to an edge on your view, select and click on the dimension. On the pet palette, select, align dimension line. Now click an edge to align the dimension line to it. Let us now see how to place auto dimensioning in ARCHICAD. Use exterior dimensioning function to add automatic associative linear dimensions to selected walls or curtain walls on the floor plan. Now after selecting the walls or curtain walls, go to Document, Annotations, Automatic Dimensioning, Exterior Dimensioning. Check one or more dimension options here. Overall dimension option places a single dimension line that runs along the length of the selected element set. Dimension external geometry option places the linear dimensions of extruding elements. Dimension structures option places the linear dimensions of the element itself such as wall thickness. Dimension openings options place the dimensions of doors and windows. Choose where to place the dimensions for openings. Opening center or opening endpoints. Choose separate dimensioning preference for doors and for windows. Dimension walls by outer faces or by core faces. Enter the distance between dimensions lines in working units. Check this box to place dimensions on four sides. Click OK. Now define the direction of the dimension lines by clicking the edge of any element or by drawing the direction in an empty area. Click with the hammer cursor to place the dimension lines. Use interior dimensioning function to quickly dimension a set of selected columns and composite or complex profile elements on the floor plan. Now after selecting, go to Document, Annotations, Automatic Dimensioning, Interior Dimensioning. Choose column dimension preference to be column center or column endpoints. Under composite and profile elements, select all skins or automatically dimension walls and slabs. Click OK. Now draw a temporary line across the selected element to be dimensioned. Double click to finish drawing the line. Click to place the dimension chain. The secondary dimensions function allows you to add metric unit equivalents to dimension values displayed in feet and inches, and vice versa. Select a dimension line or dimension chain. Go to Document, Annotation, Secondary Dimensions, Convert Dimensions dialog box to set the unit and the number of decimals of the converted dimension value. Click OK. And the secondary values will appear on the opposite side of the dimension line. Changes made to dimensioned elements do not automatically update the converted dimensions. Choose Document, Annotation, Secondary Dimensions, Refresh Converted Dimensions to update both the value and the location of the dimension. If you do not need equivalence anymore, simply choose Remove Converted Dimensions from the Secondary Dimensions menu. 